Hello, welcome to my bookshelf and today I wanted to do my review of If I Was Your Girl by Meredith Russo. And if you don't know, the story is about our main character named Amanda and she's a trans woman and she's actually a teenager so she's in high school and everything and she realized very early on that she was born in the wrong body and so she undergone this hormonal treatment and the surgery and everything and so and because she did this all very early on and she just didn't have you know complications or anything like that you know she has started a new school everyone at the new school like no one can tell that she used to be Andrew that she you know went through this process you know to them she's just She's just Amanda and there is no like question about like, oh, she looks kind of masculine or whatever. That's not an issue in here. This explores not necessarily the transition as much, but more of the after effects. You know, having gone through all of that, all the bullying, just living your life, just not really ever feeling like yourself, like you can never really fully be yourself, you know, and kind of being in this wrong body and being forced to do things that you don't want to because of your gender and things like that. And now, finally, you know, having gone through all this and finally being on the other side and kind of starting fresh and kind of what that could look like. That's kind of the story that is trying to tell. And it's also, you know, a romance story. So she's interested in someone at school and things, you know, begin to happen. And so, again, it's just the exploration of this and what this might be like. And I thought that this was a really interesting book on a lot of different levels. I personally haven't read any books about anyone who is trans, so this was a really interesting experience for me on a lot of different levels. It was really interesting to read about someone who's gone through this because I personally don't have any experience with this, but I think it's a really interesting topic and I think it's something that, you know, I think more people need to talk about to kind of get an understanding of what this means and what this is and just all of that. And, you know, obviously the problems that come along with this because that's kind of inherently an issue. I gave it four out of five stars. I really enjoyed this. But I did think that there were some areas that it could have gone better or things that I wanted from it that it just wasn't. First off, something I really did enjoy was the writing itself. I just thought this was a really well-written story. Like, I just felt very engaged just immediately. Things kind of just happen fast. I feel like it is a fairly short book, so I think that inherently not everything is fully expanded. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, but I just think that for an issue like this, I think that this could benefit from having more pages and more exploration and things like that. I felt, you know, and I'm not going to go into details, but I do think that it kind of ended a little ab abruptly. On some level, it felt like a good ending, but on another level, I just, I wanted more from these characters and I wanted to kind of see what happened. It's not like it's a cliffhanger ending or anything like that, but I just felt like there's so much more to the story that we could have told that was left out. Like for instance, like the transition itself, um, going through that experience. We get flashbacks to it, which I appreciated, but I personally would have wanted more of the book to focus on that. But I do realize at the same time that's not what this book was for. That, you know, maybe there's other books for that, but this just isn't one of them. So. I don't know, I just felt like those parts were really, really interesting and I personally would have liked those chapters to be longer and more descriptive and things like that. I think that, me personally, like, I am really intrigued in that process. I want to know more about that. So, you know, the other parts where it's more after the surgery and everything, like, those are interesting still and there's some really interesting dynamics that happened and just some really interesting characters, which I will go into next. You know, those parts of the book, on some level, just kind of felt like any other YA book, um, or any kind of, like, YA romance, I guess, um, because that's a pretty big focus as well. I mean, I do think it's well done. I don't think it's, like, sloppy or anything like that. I think that it's well done version of that, but I do feel like on a lot of different levels, like this book had an opportunity to talk to us more about this experience that we didn't get. And so that was kind of disappointing. I just wish it was more, I guess is my critique. And I'm noticing that a lot lately. I want more out of books and I don't know if that's just me being picky 
or what, but I just, you know, a book doesn't have to answer all my questions, but I guess I have to feel more satisfied by it, by the journey. I don't know, but there was just something missing for me personally. And I realized that that's just an opinion and everyone's gonna be different as far as, you know, that goes. It wasn't a book for me, I think. Um, as I've mentioned many times before, you know, romance is not really my cup of tea. And so naturally those parts I just didn't care as much about, but I was kind of intrigued because this is a unique angle on that. But at the same time, it hit a lot of the tropes that tend to come with the romance genre. And that's just kind of frustrating to me. It was all right, and I think that's what also kind of brought my rating down a little bit, is that those parts were better to me than other romances I've read, which I haven't read that many, so that's probably not saying a lot, but it was better than some of the other ones, probably because of this unique angle, so to me it felt kind of refreshing and new, but at the same time it did also feel very similar to other ones too, which is weird, like how can it feel different and the same? I don't know, but... The majority of the book is about this relationship, and I do think it's interesting, but at the same time, I just felt like we missed some depth of their relationship as well, and and of course, I mean, pretty much the, the main thrust of the story is that, you know, and, you know Amanda's keeping the secret from everyone, that, you know, she used to be Andrew, and she went through this uh, transition and everything like that, so that's just kind of an inherent secret she has, and... Again, I don't, I, I understand that the book needs tension and things like that, but I don't know. I felt like it could have just been done better, and I think that having the main thrust be this like, ooh, secret, isn't that exciting to me personally? Because it just feels so played out at this point in so many other books. So that was kind of disappointing, but again, it's still an interesting topic, so I think it really helps push it up. But at the same time, it, it could have done so much more to make it just a better, well-rounded story. Um, you know, obviously I think the topic is interesting and important, but I just felt like while it was an enjoyable to read story, and while I thought the characters were interesting, I just felt like, yeah, mainly just the plot itself could have been better developed, personally. But that's just me. Yeah, so the other thing I really enjoyed just in general about this book were the characters, and I think also going back to my last, you know, criticism, I wish that they could have been more developed. It is a fairly short book overall. I will say that we do get a pretty good understanding of Amanda, but at the same time, I feel like there's still a lot about her that we don't know. And we get glimpses of her opinions on things, but I think overall, her view in the story is really just to kind of give us a hint of what things used to be like for her when she was living as Andrew and I, like I didn't want just a hint like I wanted to know I wanted to know everything that's why I wish this story was longer and I wish maybe we had started with her as Andrew and see this you know transition to officially be like Amanda you know inside and out yeah I, I would say that the most interesting parts of this story were things that were like hinted at or we only got just like a taste of it where like the the main focus of the story just wasn't on what I wanted it to be on and so it was disappointing on that level so I enjoyed the characters but just like the plot and like where it ended up going I felt like we could have gotten so much more out of each character I, you know some of the characters were kind of interchangeable because like she meets this group of friends and, you know, some of them are very distinct, but then the other ones, I honestly couldn't tell them apart, or they just didn't have anything really unique about them. Like, too big of a group, so it's hard to, like, individuate each one, because it is a shorter book. Yeah, just things like that. I, I would also, I was really curious about her relationship with her parents. Again, we kind of get a glimpse of it, but it's not really the main thrust of the story. Um, though there is an interesting arc with her parents, I, you know, again, I wanted more. I just wanted more from this book. So it fell flat a little bit, but overall I think that what is here is good. It just could have done more. And it could have given us more depth um, of characters, of plot. But I do think that, again, uh, the topic is really interesting. So overall it was good, but it could have been better. So four star rating from me. Alright, so that is my review of If I Was Your Girl by Meredith Russo. Please let me know what you think of this book in the comments below. I know this is a popular book, so I think most people have read it at this point, or at least know of it. So if you have any thoughts, please let me know. And as always, thank you so much for watching this video, and until next time.